Welcome to Recipes for Life with Mercedes Wilson. I'm Mercedes Wilson, and I have a special, special, special guest <laughs> with me. I have Trish, which full disclosure, was my phys ed teacher in high school. You still look good. Thank you, thank you, still you look good. thank you. So just to catch you up on what we've done, Trish brought a dish, which I'll let her tell you more about. It's called adobo, a family recipe. And we have added uh, white vinegar, soy sauce, peppercorns, bay leaves, garlic, boneless chicken, and pork in this one. And then some love, oh, you right? Definitely some love. love. Um, now, so I wanna ask you a little bit about this dish before we dig in. Um, what does this dish mean to you and your family? Well, adobo is a traditional Filipino dish. Mm -hmm. My husband is Filipino. Mm -hmm. His parents came right from the Philippines and they cook traditional food most meals of the week. It's a comfort food and my mother-in-law was one of the best cooks I know. I have brought the tradition to my family yeah. and I cook it for my kids and my husband and they love it. So it's an easy recipe to make, but it's again a comfort food. Yeah, it is super simple. You have my kitchen smelling amazing. I can't wait to try it. Can we try it? Of course. Can we try it? And then you made rice with it. I did. Which rice is super simple, but a lot of us can't make. You know, I still do boil in the bag rice. Oh, well. <laughs> I, I like that laugh you just gave. <laughs> I still do boil in the bag rice, it's so bad. Well, when I met my husband, I was a traditional, you know, white rice that doesn't stick mm. together. Mm -hmm. And then once I learned what a rice cooker was, I cannot eat rice that doesn't stick together anymore. Oh, this is good. This Lots is of good. flavor. This is really good. So how often do you make this for your family? Mm, every other week. So question, nobody's listening. It's just me and you and all of Western New York. <laughs> just me and you. In high school, who was the issue? Was it me or was it you? Like I said, I blocked that out. <laughs> Okay, so I admit I gave her a little trouble. Well, how would you describe it? I was a new teacher. Uh huh. It was my I was fresh I knew that out she was college. a new teacher. I knew that she was a new teacher. I was young, mm -hmm. and uh, I do remember your senior year. You got um, the most talkative. I did win. Oh my God! I did win that award. <laughs> yes, you did, did win that did. award. That's horrible. I love this dish. I love this dish and the simplicity of it, and the memories. So answer me this, if life were a big bowl of ingredients that you have to throw a bunch of things in that make up life, that make life good, throw in a spicy ingredient that would make life good. Give us a spicy ingredient. Spicy? Something spicy. What Definitely. do you need in life to make it good? Oh, my friends. That would be my spice, mm, my friends. So I, you need spicy friends. No doubt, and I definitely have those friends. I have friends yeah. from elementary, middle, high school that I still am with all the time. Oh, that's good. Oh. That's good. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you for uh, continuing the family recipe. Oh. And thank you for sharing the family recipe. Well, I'm mm. glad you enjoyed it. And you can get this on my website at MercedesEWilson.com. Again, make a meal with someone you love. I promise you that time will not go to waste. This has been a great recipe for life. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh my goodness, as a first generation Filipino American, my tummy is rumbling. And my mom, you know, it always is those passed down recipes that always taste so good. My mom was a, is the best cook <laughs> and she makes the best uh, chicken adobo. So I absolutely love that, that was wonderful. And um, if you'd like to see more of Mercedes recipes, you know where to find them right here on AM Buffalo on Mondays and on uh, MercedesWilson.com for her recipes.